what's going on hooked on fishing with Joe uh, just made a uh, the video for uh, the uh, hookups for uh, August and guess what I just got in the uh, mystery tackle box my uh, September mystery tackle box new lures uh, what I got in today is my new lures for today of course I got the the new lures for what I'm gonna fish this month for let's see what's going down okay the first thing I got is of course the uh, the dibble uh, your little crossword puzzle all the tips and all that good stuff and I hadn't got one of these in a while uh, which is the it's a nice little uh, a sticker I like this sticker got the guy uh, bucking on a fish pretty cool I like that it's actually on a on a crankbait the with the crankbait he's bucking on there all right and the first thing I got is the uh, talk speak of a crankbait it's a Bagley balsa wake one it's made for a mystery tackle box exclusive as you can see here I'm gonna take it out of the box here but just uh as you can see there it's just for uh, uh I got one last I don't know if it was maybe two uh the I think it was July but this is that's pretty cool I like this one this is like uh it's like a purple on top uh little little chartreuse yellow little white belly but it's a bagley uh <clears throat> it's kind of different the uh, the bill is, looks like it's going down at an angle, like a 45 degree angle now. As you can see it there. I don't know if you can see that. It looks pretty cool. And you can see the eyes. As you can see that. You can see the color of it. Look at the top color of it. Man, it looks cool. And look at the yellow. And then you got... You see the... You see the bill? Look at the bill. I like it. But at the same time, look at the angle that it's going on. That's pretty cool. And I don't know if it makes any noise or not. Yeah, it has a little noise. It has a little... I don't know if you can hear it or not, but... It sounds pretty cool. It has a little, has a little noise on there. Like the, uh, got a little pretty good eyes. Nice little beady little eyes on it, but I like the, like the little purple. I have never tried one. The build normally is up at this angle. This one is going down at an angle. This is gonna be pretty cool for me. It's different. I'm kind of a kind of excited to use this one. Uh, it's also made of a balsa wood, but it's made exclusively for uh, for. Uh, 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 mystery tackle box owners it's pretty cool I like it I like it it's pretty nice so that's the first one and now we're gonna go to the Lunker Hunt the Lunker Hunt it's the Yappa Frog it's 2.25, two and a quarter inches. It's uh, it's like a little black with a little yellow on the on the bottom. As you can see, a little yellowish, a little black. Got the little tassels. The tassels are like uh, I don't know. To me, it's like a it looks like a little brown. I don't know, a little brown and white on the tassels. Looks pretty cool. Look at the look at the mouth of it. it. Looks like a big mouth. It looks like a like you could stick it on a on the car window. Looks like a like like you could probably stick it on the car window, just lick it and pop it on there. But anyway, I won't do that. Uh, but I like that because look at the side of it. Looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks. Maybe it'll sink down. It'll come down on it. It'll stay. I mean, not not so much. Uh, I would think it would sink down. It probably no. The top water they probably hook up the other frog I had did have a good size weight on it so it did go down on the, on 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 the water that's that's the one side this is the other side of it right here but here's the like I said here's here's the, here's the top of it 
and here's the bottom of it. You can see the bottom of it right there. Okay, but this is called the the Lunker Hunt Yappa Frog. The Yappa Yappa Frog. Okay, that's the second part. Uh, the, the, the second lure I got. The next thing I got <clears throat> is a jig rig. The jig rig, uh, it's a 3 16th ounce with the one ounce, I mean with the one out hook. As you can see there, has the one out. And as you can see, I'm going to try to spread. I'm not, uh, I'm not going to, yeah, well, uh, I guess I could take it out. This is, it's an actual... There's your your one out hook, okay. But as you can see, it comes and there's your weight. It's a lead weight, obviously, and it's a three sixteenths, okay. And I personally have never fish with something similar to this. But hey, they're the first thing, first time for everything. Uh, something different for me. Uh, something that I could probably use, something that I can try, you know, I'm going to try them out, I'm going to see what I can do with it, uh, hey, you know, I, something different for me, uh, like I said, I've really gotten into bass fishing since and, uh, when I began this in May, uh, it says here, free floating hook, straight sink for uh, new line twist, and compact casting profile, so this is the jig rig. It's set up right there, as you can see. And you can see in the back, that's what I was reading in the back. Okay? So, that's the number three thing. The fourth thing is the... Uh, I got the uh, Biospawn, which was the... Uh, <clears throat> last month I got some Biospawn... Uh, 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 bait. And this is what I got this, this month. I got this one right here. This is the candy red blue flake. As you can see, I don't know if you can see it through there, but can you see the blue flake? It's pretty cool, right? You can see the blue flake through there. I would take it out of the package, but I'm not. It's already this this package in there. Uh, you know, it's the EXO ribbon seven inch. Uh, it has a bio scent. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's the biospawn. I have uh, another biospawn, but it's a uh, it's a round. It's it was the light blue one that I showed last uh, uh, last month. I'm I'm excited to this, uh, uh, to use this one. It's uh, it's perfect soft plastic worm action. The fluttering uh, a ribbon tail imitates moving uh, prey when hopped, dragged, or spawn or swam. I'm sorry. Uh, the tail unfurls underwater and attracts predators with reflected light and enticing vibrations. So it just depends how you move it, you know. So there it is. There's the the different types, and that's I liked how they single package one of them so that you can see how it really looks, and we can just put it on there. And this is pretty cool, man. I'm I'm, I'm kind of excited on how we're gonna how we're gonna use this one. How am I gonna how I'm gonna use this one? So there's. There's that one. The next one we have is the Booyah Bait uh, Bank Road Jig. Okay, uh, let's sit right there. Okay, you can see it right there. I'm gonna take it out. Uh, I'm gonna take this baby out here. So it takes a little bit. To pop these babies out. Here we go. Uh, to me, it's like a football jig. Uh, you can see the different color of it. It has the weedless. So you can help the weedless. And it has the skirt on it, obviously. It got a long skirt. Normally, the skirts come to about maybe right here. This one, as you can see, the skirt's a lot. It's long. It's a lot. It passes the hook. The hook is right, right here, okay, and as you can see, the skirt where my finger's at, that's where the hook is, and you can see there's where the skirt 
ends right there. But I like this because it does cover it does cover the uh, the actual uh, a hook. But I want to show you something that is so crazy because the head. The head of the actual top of it. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that right there. Maybe at the angle. It's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. For me, it is. I mean, it's different. You can still you can still tie it up here, but still. But it is weedless. You can put uh, whatever you want to put on it. Uh, who knows? Maybe the worm. Maybe the exo ribbon. I don't know. Hook it up. See what happens. Uh, you can put something like that on there. But this is the. Uh, Booyah uh, bank roll jig. It, uh, <laughs> it reads in the back. You can bank roll, bring your money in with this one. Uh, I don't know. I've caught a lot of bass and never brought money in. But anyway, I spent money. But there you go. But anyway, uh, we'll see what happens with uh, with this book. The next thing I want to bring in is the product the the producto lure, lure buzz tail chat. I'm not gonna open this because it has oil in it. But as you can see, this one, as you can see the color in it, it's pretty cool. I like it. Uh, this is, uh, it has a scent on it, and this scent is, it says grape candy, black grape candy. And it's uh, six inch. And it's a shad. It, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, it's a four inch. I'm sorry, it looked like it was six inch. It's a four inch black grape candy. And it's pretty cool. Okay, and that's another uh, uh, the lures, the pros throw. Mm, aren't these all lures, pros throw? Uh, anyway, uh, but this is pretty cool. Uh, it's something different. It's great. Uh, they're four inches. They. They, uh, I'm gonna see what this baby does. Uh, I'm thinking maybe uh, throw it with a with a, a small small little hook, or even it may show you in the back what you can what you can use it for. Uh, you know, a little jig. Uh, I mean, a little hook on there, maybe uh, with a weedless type. How to Texas rig it? Yeah, you know, but you know, you can do all kinds of different things. I uh, I. The way I used the bug with, from last month was I put it on a trash master lure and I and you know the bug is is not very it was not very friendly for me to screw it on that little on that little screw on 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 the on the uh, on the actual uh, trash master and you might probably ask me why you put it on a trash master well down here you got a hundred and five degree weather. And that's just the heat temperature, and I'm telling you right now, that's the actual heat temperature. That's on a cool day. And the heat index is about 109, uh, sometimes 115. And I'm not, and I'm not joking. I'm not laughing when I'm telling you 100, 105, sometimes 103. On a real cool day, you're looking at 95, 98 degrees. But the reason I was doing that is because my buddy always says, you know, uh, like I said, I'm still learning bass. My buddy always says, Mike, uh, he always tells me, he goes, hey, man, you know, a fish go deeper because it's cooler. And, you know, so I fish the bottom. So when I'm fishing with the with the trash master lure, you know, it puts it down the bottom. And the bug was working with the trash master and if it ain't broke I'm not gonna fix it so I'm gonna keep using it so I I love the trash master uh, it's a great thing to put different lures on it for me and like I always say that's for me you have to use what you think is right for you but hey man with these different types of lures and with what I do with these boxes that I get uh, my mission as you will is to try these lures and see what I catch on a monthly basis. You do how you do as as you want to or as you will. And once my 12 months is over, then I can use all these different types of lures in all different types of days and months and however. And, you know, I just want to try these on a monthly basis and see how they work. So far, I've been catching fish. Maybe not as much as some other months, but I've been really excited of what I, when I do catch catch quite a few fish so that I can put them up on my on my monthly hookups because it's exciting to catch these bass 
I know I don't move from that one place, but man, it's exciting. And these different types of baits, these, this type of bait, it's different for me because I don't use these types of baits. I'm a saltwater guy, but now I'm becoming a freshwater guy. These, you would never have seen me use this type. You would never see me use a trash master lure. You would never see me use a frog. You would never see me use crankbaits. Uh, these type of hooks with this, with, with the weights on it, you wouldn't see me use these types of baits. Uh, I make my own leaders. I would do different things. Uh, but now it's exciting because, man, this is awesome. This is something new to me. And it could be new to you too. But you know what? This is exciting. Keep watching me. I really appreciate y'all y'all watching my 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 uh, my uh, YouTube channels uh, hooked up, hooked on fishing with Joe. Please subscribe. Uh, follow me. Have any comments? Have any questions? You know, ask me. I don't know everything. Believe me, I don't know everything or much of anything about bass fishing other than what I've been learning on my own. Uh, I've learned quite a lot with the different types of lures since I've been fishing in May. And I've also done different things that most people will call unorthodox. But you know what? It's been catching fish, man. Why? Because I go out there and do it. Not going to catch anything sitting and watching TV. Hey, I do that too. I watch TV, but I'm out there almost on a daily basis. Sometimes I don't go out there because it is raining, but I do go out there even though it's 100 plus degrees for me. But hey, have fun. Have a great time. Enjoy fishing, freshwater life, uh, whether you salt water, whether you freshwater. But hey, subscribe to my channel. You know, click click the button uh, I want to say thanks to my wife she always helps me out she she is wonderful thank you babe I love you she does so much for me uh, she helps me out a lot uh, it's a long process to put these videos together and sometimes I go overboard talking uh, I apologize but you know guys and girls I really enjoy doing this this is what I love to do uh, I love fishing and you know if you've never done it hey give it a shot who knows maybe you might still not like it but at least you can say you tried it but anyway this is hooked on fishing with joe hey go out there and have a good time uh get hooked on fishing with joe subscribe man subscribe you know the deal good cowboys fan hey it's the way it goes have a good day god bless talk to y'all later this is joe out